Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories. As always, I'm your host, Chris Jack. Today, checking out another new pair from Reebok that was sent to me from the guys over at Reebok South Africa. It is the second version of the Zig Kinetica, uh, co-signed by Conor McGregor. So without further ado, let's check it out. Alright, so for those of you who saw my review on the Concept Type 1 Zig Kinetica from Reebok, uh, would have known that this is basically inspired by space exploration. This particular version, which came in a couple of different colorways, really, really blew me away from what Reebok's been doing recently. It just, it, I had a good vibe with this particular pair. It had really awesome material makeups on it. The redesign of the Zig technology into the midsole was really interesting to me. I really wanted to check it out in hand and on foot, obviously. And overall, I really, really do like this shoe. I think the coloration of all of them uh, and the material makeup of them are really, really cool. And it's just something different, uh, at least from what I've seen from Reebok in the last while. Uh, this particular pair, as I did mention, was a little big on foot. Uh, that is the same with the pair I'm about to show you guys now. Uh, but just some fundamental differences, as you can see with the material makeup, you do have that lace strap over there. Kind of a different lacing system and different upper completely. Uh, this shoe wasn't really a shoe that I would necessarily run in uh, or do like much exercise in. Just from a material point of view, uh, it's quite thin and delicate if you would call it that uh, on this particular pair. But nonetheless, a great shoe for lifestyle wear. They look really, really good on foot. Uh, but onto the shoe that we're talking about today. And as I mentioned in the intro there, uh, this is co-signed uh, or I guess, uh, what would you like call that? Like the face of uh, Zig Kinetica has been with Conor McGregor. There's been a fantastic ad uh, that was created by Reebok, which had him in, and I think also that other guy, Khabib or whatever his name is. I'm not really too big into uh, UFC myself, but I do enjoy watching it for what it is. But onto the shoe itself, and I'm gonna start with the outsole of this particular pair. Now this is actually a technology from 2010. Uh, it has been redesigned or rethought and put into this new concept. This is a massive driver for Reebok at the moment, so the Zig uh, Kinetica. There are tons of different colorways of this particular pair uh, that are available right now, four of which are in South Africa, which look like that. Uh, and then I've seen around the world, there's just been sure, so many different ones. So lots to look forward to if you are into the silhouette of the shoe. But back to that midsole technology, uh, it's comprised of three different parts. Inside the midsole, you do have float ride fuel, which is a really soft cushioning technology. Uh, it's basically the foam part of this. And then as you'll see on the outsole, you've got these black energy bands. And these basically expand and contract, giving you a lot of energy return on foot. And then you've got the Zig energy shell, which is mainly the midsole part of it. And that basically just encapsulates everything in there as well. And that's also got some energy properties to that as well. Uh, one further change to this, as you'll see, which comes up from below the energy shell, you do have this support structure here in the heel section. Uh, it's kind of like a heel counter. Uh, you do have the Reebok logo done in orange over there. This is the one thing uh, that I haven't been entirely sure of just yet, and it's got to do with the quality of the shoe. There's a lot of glue stains in and around this uh, heel counter. In fact, if you look closely, uh, I don't know if you guys will even see that. It's not quite like fully glued down. It's like kind of crunched up a little bit. I think like, Overall, just the quality on these is not that great. And it might just be because it's this particular color, uh, which I guess is like the launch color or the lead colorway of this particular pack. Uh, it just, with the black, it shows a lot of the glue on here and it's just, uh, I don't know. But yeah, that for me is just something I always look out for, like glue stains and things like that, you know, cause they, it's just like a quality control thing. I don't know, maybe it's not the end of the world for you if you are actually using these for running or training or anything like that. Now the rest of the upper has been completely redesigned. I'll just show you the two versions next to each other. Uh, so you can just see how completely different that is from a material perspective. They've gone with a much sportier, breathable mesh on here. It's got a whole bunch of debossing uh, design patterns in it. So that does create quite an awesome look on foot. Uh, you've just got different patterning throughout. Uh, and then almost sort of a neoprene material just here in the heel section and the tongue of the shoe as well. Uh, it's not quite like full neoprene, but it's got that feeling to it. Uh, so quite a comfortable ride on foot as well, uh, because theoretically, 
is not a sock like construction uh, you do have an individual tongue here in the front but it is pretty comfortable on foot itself from a lacing perspective they've also redesigned this you do have these elasticated bands which basically hold the laces in place onto the tongue and the laces themselves are just a black flat lace as well now towards the top of the tongue you will notice the Reebok branding over there done in orange and that's also on the heel section of the shoe over here and then just below in this heel counter which is basically wraps up from the outsole over the midsole into the heel section of the shoe you've got a very very subtly branded zig section in there. Now from a sock liner point of view, I've just taken the insole out. You do have a fair amount of padding in there, uh, if you guys can see that. So that's just really cushioning uh, your heel in your shoe. And then the insole of it is just a standard black with the Reebok done in orange. Now from a sizing perspective, as I did find with the Concept Ones down here, uh, they are a little bit big on foot, at least for me that is. I would definitely recommend taking at least a half size down on this particular pair. I do have about an inch of space in my toe at a size UK9, which is my true to size. Uh, so I will be looking to try and get a half size down in this particular pair and I really want to actually get some of the other colorways as well as I mentioned earlier in the review uh, because they really just look super good on foot and last but not least from a pricing perspective these do retail here locally in South Africa for 1999 Rand and are available at Reebok.co.za so you can order them online which is definitely the safer option right now uh, in and amongst this whole coronavirus thing uh, yeah, so stay safe out there guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you do have any further questions, please drop them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer you as soon as possible. Otherwise, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps this video spread on YouTube. And if you've liked what you've seen here in today's review or any of the other contents I've put out over the last while, uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But thanks very much for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next one.